Hi, my name is Stevie Hillman, and we talked a little bit about body position as the rider. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about position approaching a barrel, approaching your first barrel is what we're going to talk about. And um, what happens when you let your horse cut that pocket off going into the barrel, and when you have too wide of a pocket going into a barrel. It's always a fine line right there. Um, I'll show you here in just a minute the two different approaches, but the first approach, when you're running in there and your horse cuts your pocket off, they have nowhere to go except for either to go by or to step off that barrel. So when they cut that pocket off, they have to make up for that step that they cut off. So you're going to end up probably over time creating a bad habit of them stepping off that barrel to get to the next barrel. Um, and then the other way is too wide. You know you come running in that barrel way too wide and they take that extra step going in, then you're most likely going to hit that barrel coming out or they're not going to be able to get that turn on the backside like you want. So I'm going to show you, um, first time we'll be cutting that pocket off and where your horse ends up. We'll just do it at a trot so you can see. And you got to make sure that it's, you know, is it you or is it your horse? When they cut this pocket off right here, then they have to, you know, they have to step over here to finish that turn. So watch your videos and see if it's you or your horse. Are you sitting too early cueing your horse to turn? Are you actually riding all the way up into that pocket? The other one that I see a lot is my question to the girls is where are you looking? They don't know. The answer is I don't know. Well, when you don't know where you're looking, a lot of times you end up come flying in here and then you end up way, way up high and you're just way out of position. You're running way up here. Well, where are you looking? You know, where you're looking is where you're running to. So make sure you're looking at your pocket and you're sitting and cueing your horse at the right time. Not too soon, not too late. So that's really important to watch your videos doing that. Make sure you've got your game plan with your horse and where you're looking. Before you even get to that barrel, look where you're going and make sure you ride the correct position to where your horse is able to make that turn like he should. So that's important. Make sure you're not cutting off your pocket and make sure you're not running in there too wide. Make sure it's you, you know, make sure it's not you cueing your horse first. Um, and then you can put your horse in the right position there. Another thing with starting your colts on the pattern, uh, to, to go on further with that, um, once you start your colts on the pattern and you're, you, you've got them patterned good and they're loping a pattern, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, when do I ask them to run? You know, I've been loping my horse for a year. Well, I think your horse will tell you when they're ready to add speed. I think that's opinion, you know, I think your horse should be comfortable. If he's comfortable at a lope, he's comfortable at a high lope, then you keep just letting him progress in his speed. You know, there's that point to where you have to really ask them to run. And if they take it, you just keep letting, you let your horse show you that they're ready instead of just running down that alley and I know saying, we're gonna run today, you know, and it scares them then you're just going to backpedal with his training. So it's important to keep your horse's confidence and to keep building that and so that he continues to get faster and faster. He's got to trust you to run. So keep his confidence and uh, know your horse. 